In this video, I'm going to show you how you can find the correlation coefficient, also known as Pearson's R, using a sharp ELW531 calculator. So the first step is you must always make sure that any memories have been fully cleared, otherwise previous calculations will affect your current calculation. So to do that, you press second function, alpha, then 1, and then 0. That has now cleared all of the memories. The next step is you need to get into the correct statistics mode. And to do that, you now want to press mode, and then you want to press 1, and then you want to press 1. You're now in the correct mode for doing a Pearson's R calculation. And the worked example I want to take you through today is a very simple one. So we've got some X data, simply 1, 2, 3, and then some Y data, which is 2, 4, and 6. And obviously you can see that this is simply y equals 2x. You just take your x value and double it. So you would expect a perfect correlation, so r equals 1. And so that will confirm that you've done the calculation correctly. So we obviously need to input the data. And to do that, there's two key buttons that you need to be aware of. Firstly is this comma that's going to separate your data. And then this button change here that's got data on the top is how you're going to actually save that to the calculator's memories. So let's start by inputting the first point. So we press 1, then we would choose comma, and then we've got 2, and then we press change, and that's going to save it in the memory. And this data set equals will keep track of how many points you have inputted, so you can make sure you haven't missed any data points, and that that number is what you expect. Then we can put the next one in, which is 2, comma, 4, then we press change, that's now saved it in the memory, and then we want 3, comma 6 and then change and that now puts that into the memory. So we've now got all of our points and so we can now do the Pearson's R calculation. And to do that you simply press the alpha button and then you can find R hiding down here on the divide and then press equals and you get your value for the correlation coefficient. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please like and subscribe below. And finally, thank you very much for watching.